Well, most parents are guilty of it, allowing their children more screen time than it is recommended. But it can have serious effects as more youngsters develop behavioural and mental health problems. Now, a program here in Perth is hoping to tackle the issue. I'm pleased to welcome the founder of the Emotional Literacy Academy, Neil Bentley. Hello, Neil. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. Tell us about this program. Yeah, so the Emotional Literacy and Mindfulness Academy for Kids is a globally unique program that's effectively using advanced emotional literacy skills and uh, the science of mindfulness as well as the science of sound therapy. And we put all that together to create more peaceful solutions for the future generations and by unplugging a plugged-in generation. Okay, so the Academy caters for children five to nine years old. What kind of issues have parents come to you about? The biggest issue that I see has really been around uh, children's emotional regulation. So, but the thing is, is that's almost like a cover for what's really happening. Where it, it, a lot of it is, they're really hardwired. You know, there's uh, there's so much noise exposed to them today in today's world, which is affecting them. You know, emotionally, it's it's helping, and they're not understanding their emotions either. So, those are some of the the toughest ones that we face. But the biggest thing is the video game addictions. <laughs> okay, so specifically, what do you do in these in this program? Uh, so we use skills within um, teaching them in a really fun, interactive way with Jazzy and Pinky and the Energy Ball. And the Energy Ball teaches them the ability to first of all recognise their emotions um, through the use of their Energy Ball and then also to understand other people's emotions. And so when they do this, they have the capacity and the ability to start to have awareness of this themselves and of others, which starts to assist in the development of their emotional regulation because it starts with understanding what's happening to me at an emotional level and then compartmentalising that into categories of understanding how do I do that. And so we do that with the cartoons, we do that with uh, interactive mindfulness games, breath work, uh, so a number of key things that we apply. OK, sure. So even the World Health Organisation has stepped in issuing its own screen time, uh, screen time guidelines, one hour or less for kids two to four. I mean, it seems to be a global problem here. It really is and it's it's one of these things that we have been presented into the world of digital and I write about it in my book in Digital Consciousness that it is actually, we weren't ready for this uh, in many ways and we've kind of stumbled our way through and we're kind of learning as we go so there's no right or wrong but what it requires is more educated approach and an awareness at home and at school as to how much exposure we give to these kids mm -hmm. because it really does impact them especially at the developmental phase of their brain. Yeah it sure does. All right Tanil Bentley thank you so much for coming in and good luck with the program. Thank you so much for having me. Trace Evo, live at four o'clock.